all right today we have an interesting tutorial about safety features which is as the name suggests azure ai content safety so let me give you a brief description what is azure ai content safety so azure ai content safety automatically identifies and removes harmful or hateful speech violent speech self-destructive speech those kind of things because the overall idea about Azure content safety is to provide or promote a safe platform for content creators and consumers, right? Where users can report inappropriate content for review and action as well. So let's uh, check this in a uh, hands-on. All right, I'm here in the Azure portal. Let's search Azure AI services. So let's select Azure AI services here. And if we scroll down a bit, we have the Azure content safety. Let's go ahead by clicking on the create uh, button here. So let's select the subscription, then the resource group where we want uh, the Azure AI content safety to reside. Next, we'll select the geographical location where we want uh, the resource. Let's uh, give a name for our content safety. Let's select the pricing tier will go with standard S0. Let's click on review and create. We will cl uh, click on the create button. Let's wait till the deployment gets completed. All right, our deployment is completed. Let's go to the resource now. We got the resource here, we can see. Let's go ahead, uh, Cloud Guru Amit Safety will open it. Let's go ahead with the resource management because we need the keys and uh, endpoints. We'll um, keep this keys and endpoint in a safe place. Let me copy one of these keys. I'll paste it in a notepad because I'll be requiring this in a while. I'll also copy the endpoint. Let's uh, paste here in the notepad. Now next step is to create environment variables. So here we go with the uh, environment variables. Let's copy this and we need to substitute now the values after we are um, done with the um, pasting the values so first is the uh, content safety key key is nothing but this one i'll copy this and please make sure it's uh, within the single quotes right if it is visible um, it should be exactly like this please do not remove the single quotes otherwise it will won't work we need to copy this uh, let's remove whatever was within it I'll paste it. Now we are ready. Now uh, we, since uh, we need, uh, we are creating um, the environment variables, we can paste it uh, using command prompt or even in Visual Studio. Both will work, not an uh, issue. So let's go ahead by opening a Visual Studio now. Since I want to create a new project, I'll go ahead by clicking on create new project here. And here we have tons of option. Since uh, this is a Python code, what we I have on my yeah, this file, if you look, this is this is the Python code, right? So that's why I'm selecting Python application. Let's select the first one, Python application dot py file. I'll go ahead by clicking on next now. Next, it will ask me the project name. So uh, the project name is uh, fairly simple. Uh, it's called uh, I'll name it content safety right so this name looks good to me so i've given one name amit content safety because there's already one file on my computer that's why you can give any name because it will end of the day create one python application i'll click on create now click button click on the create button so now let's um, copy uh, the environment uh, variables uh, we can use a command prompt or uh, even the partial it will work i'll press ctrl r uh, for the run you can use start menu run that will also work anyhow uh, let's paste the keys so it says success now let's go ahead by uh, setting environment variables for the endpoints as well i'll copy this we are done with the notepad part let's uh, paste this let's copy it i'll paste it and here we go we are done with setting the environment variables as well so we are so far so good so now uh, the next thing will be to install the uh, definitely we have the packages as well in order to work 
because uh, we are working with azure content safety right we need to install the sdks python sdk i'll uh, copy this let me copy this i'll go to my uh, visual studio here uh, there is already a powershell uh, developer here so here we go uh, with the content safety we can see here i'll um, just right click on it and uh, i can open terminal as well it will uh, uh, if you can see the path is uh, again content safety content safety right we need to make sure we are in the correct path uh, let's do pip install uh, the package so it says requirement already satisfied because uh, for uh, in my computer it's already installed so i am uh, good uh, for now so uh, if you can see i have the blank python file here which is named amit content safety dot py you can name a content safety as well whatever name you give uh, it's fine i'll uh, next step i've already done the homework for you uh, the contents of the python code uh, for me it's uh, amit content uh, safety pi because i already have this file on my computer so now um, let me quickly uh, copy paste the entire code and paste it on the visual studio so now if i scroll up a bit i have uh, the content safety key here right um, and the endpoint which is nothing but the uh, notepad part so let's uh, copy the content um, safety uh, key here i'll quickly paste this control v please make sure it's uh, within double quotes right please do not uh, change anything next i'll uh, just copy the end point here let's copy the end point this looks good i'll delete it paste this and next important thing since we are uh, done with the code um, it's always a good idea to save it because i can see the star mark which means it's unsaved i can click on the save it's gone otherwise we can press Control s as well it will save the file since we are uh, uh, done with the uh, code now uh, we can see right it will uh, it's uh, it's kind of if, if else statement right it uh, detects whether it's hate speech self-harm sexuality violence all these things right it will detect let's test this code whether uh, how it uh, works so here if you look um, the command uh, is python as mentioned the file name for me the file name is amit content safety right so this will be uh, I need I need to tweak the uh, uh, run command. I'll paste it here on a notepad. For me, it's Amit Content Safety, right? Because my file name is Amit Content Safety. I'll copy this, and there is also one note I have uh, mentioned. This is a common mistake that whenever you execute this file, please make sure the directory contains this file. Otherwise, you will get error. So that I check. Let's uh, do it quickly. Um, since I'm here. Uh, I'll press DIR. DIR stands for um, to list the directories and the files. I can see it's dot py file amit content safety is there, so that's why I'll um, paste it. Python space the program name. So my name is uh, um, Python file name is amit content safety. That's why I've written amit content safety. If you're um, copy pasting the contents of uh, the word file, right? In the word file, I have uh, used uh, to uh, uh, to make a file using content safety name. So uh, if you're uh, using this file, you need to execute content safety dot py exactly the file name, right? Otherwise, you'll face trouble, right? I'm explaining you in simple layman terms. Let's try to uh, run this. If any kind of errors, we'll get it. And the program runs perfectly fine because we haven't faced any error. We got enter the text you want to analyze. So I have some um, uh, text with me to test. So uh, the first intent is uh, the hate speech belongs to hate speech category, right? Uh, where I despise people from Cloud Guru Amit group and believe they should be banned from society or something. I have just a ready-made thing. Uh, let's uh, let's hit enter and test it. Whether uh, AI is able to analyze or not. Yeah, I can see the hate severity is four. There are levels to it hate severity is like high they should so it shows uh, this is a hate severity and self-harm is zero everything is zero because um, this entire sentence is about uh, hate so that's why it's got the score as four now let's um, um, check something um, like self-harm right um, we know the other word but i am not using it because those are dangerous words i don't want to use it here yeah. I'll um, just um, paste it. 
Um, there is one problem because I haven't executed. I've just, I'll press control C and get out of it. I need to execute the uh, program, right? By writing Python and the program name. So let's hit enter. Uh, how do I, I uh, knew? Because it shows red arrow whenever I paste it. So I knew it was wrong. That's how uh, like it should be. And now I'll paste it. I'll hit enter. And here we go, self-harm severity. So it shows uh, the, uh, I've written some self-harm uh, thing. So it uh, it has shown correctly. I'll test uh, the uh, rest too. All right. It will, uh, AI is uh, clever enough to understand what I'm trying to do. Let me paste the third one. Uh, again, since, uh, see, uh, I knew I'm, I'm doing mistake because it, it will show some coloring thing, right? because I need to run the program, right? Then uh, I need to input the text. So I'll again press control C to exit out of it. I'll paste uh, the my uh, execute command Python space the program name, hit enter. Now I'll paste the sentence. And here, see, it's in the this sexual activity. So uh, it has it's um, quite powerful AI is working fine. And it's detecting now I'm the last one let me test it for violence. Let me quickly again invoke the program that is amit content safety.py. I'll paste it and hit enter. And here again, I got violent civility. So, all these uh, hate speech uh, or um, any kind of um, dangerous activity is being analyzed, right? So, it's uh, working fine. So, this looks good. Let me uh, dive you through the architecture diagram what we have done. So, we have used Azure AI content safety to detect many kind of hateful violence, those kind of speech. We have um, uh, used, um, created uh, the code, Python code from the scratch, uh, where we have um, configured the keys and endpoints and just executed the program, uh, right? And it's working fine. And it's, um, uh, as mentioned, like AI cont Azure Content Safety is meant for uh, promoting safety of the platform, which we, we, we you can use. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful and you will uh, definitely implement it at your workplace or any kind of applications you built. So all the best and let's meet in next part of this series which got to be more interesting.